We got us a corpse and cartridge occasion. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the new update that Bandai Namco did. Now this update was not done today. This update was done about 3-4 days ago. Um, I was aware that the update was made. I was aware that the update was done. But I didn't really understand what the update was. Because this is the thing. When they do these updates, they don't explain what they're doing. And for someone like me who likes to cover news and sort of try to keep everyone informed when they don't explain things if i don't know what it is just by knowing then i won't be able to properly explain it right so i wasn't going to talk about this because i don't know what din 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 uvo i don't even know how to pronounce it i don't even know what that is or what it was i seen that the update went in and removed this right i was looking at reddit and everyone in reddit was uh you know saying how they removed it and this is such a big deal but for me i don't play on pc so i don't really understand the impact that this has but i wasn't going to talk about it but today i am someone commented and this is what sort of led me down this direction someone commented and said will you make a video on namco removing uh i'm just gonna say denvo i don't know how to pronounce it i'm just gonna say denvo will you make a video on namco removing devo protection from tekken 7 I said I was going to cover it, but I don't fully understand what Denvo protection is to properly discuss it in a video. After I responded to that comment, I did some research. I just quickly looked up what Denvo protection was. And surprisingly, I found a lot, quite a bit. And I wasn't even searching for Tekken. I was just searching just like a definition of Denvo just to understand what it is. But it led me straight to Tekken. It led me straight to things that Harada has said in the past. I found three tweets from Harada over the past year sort of just talking about Denho. And basically what I want to do is I want to read through these news articles. I have about four paragraphs that I want to break down just to catch everyone up. And then I want to look at Harada's tweet. Now, before we can do any of that, we sort of have to explain how we got here, right? What is the the steps that led to them removing Denvo. Now, starting back a few months ago, the last major update they did was adding free cosmetics. Um, I think two or three months ago, they added free hairstyles and uh, stuff like that, right? But after that, they went radio silence. They haven't said anything. They haven't did any more big updates of that sort. Everything they did has sort of been working in the shadows and sort of been on a smaller scale. The first thing they did was they implemented some sort of anti-cheat software. Um, that anti-cheat software it had a little bit of controversy because, you know, first off, it was kind of messing up the netcode. Um, a lot of people all of a sudden turned on their, their games, their Xbox, PlayStation, PC, whatever, they turned it on and they just started to notice that there's lag, there's hesitation in the game. And we didn't really understand what was happening until the second time rolled around. The second time rolled around and they banned 400 people and they also did some netcode stuff here and there. And then that is when everyone started putting the pieces together. The netcode is getting worse because they're adding all this anti-cheat software and that is slowing down the game. There was one video that I made. Um, I always refer back to this video. One, because this video is very important and two, not that many people have seen it. But in this video, there was um, some person, I, I don't know, I can't remember who the actual person was, but there was a person who was experiencing lag spikes in practice mode you know how when you go online in ranked or in player match and there's lag spikes this person was experiencing those exact same lag spikes in practice mode and basically this person was able to figure out that the anti-cheat software is doing a scan in the background every minute one minute two minute three minute every minute it does a scan in the background and that is what is causing a lot of lag, right? Basically, they kept doing stealth updates and that is what led us to this point. Now, in the most recent patch, it was a small update that they did. I have the Reddit post here. It says, small Tekken update on Steam just now, 16 megabytes. Anybody know what it was about? 
all we can tell is that they removed Denvo. Now, this is where I will start reading these news articles and sort of just explaining what Denvo is. So it says, what is Denvo and why do gamers hate it? Denvo is anti-piracy DMR solutions that game developers can choose to include in their games. Gamers have been upset about Denvo for years and apparently for good reason. Denvo slows down games according to recent tests. What is Denvo? Denvo is Digital Rights Management, DMR, or DRM, solutions for game developers. They can license Denvo and integrate into their PC games. Denvo's software provides anti-piracy. It's designed to make it more difficult for people to crack games and distribute them for free. According to Denvo, it stops the reverse engineering and debugging required to crack games. So basically what this is saying is when Denvo is installed or Denvo is implemented into a game, that game cannot be pirated. That game cannot be, you know, played for free. Basically, you can't go to some alternate site, download Tekken for free and play it. You have to buy it. That's basically what Denvo is. And once I realized that is what Denvo is, it's like anti-pirate software. Anti-piracy is what they call it. I really... It really made me realize how committed the devs are to fixing the game because Denvo affects the game's performance, but also it stops people from getting it for free. So the fact that they would choose to remove this shows that they care more about the game performing and running well than they do people pirating the game. They care more about the experience than they do the sales. Now the argument can be made that they already sold 7 million copies. The game be on sale for like four bucks and whatnot. So they really aren't losing that much by removing the piracy. It just shows that they really are committed to fixing the netcode. The next section here, it says, does it hurt game performance? Now I am going to skip over the first two paragraphs. If you guys want to pause and read it, you can, but the third paragraph is what caught my attention. It says, but there's a lot of evidence to the contrary. The director of Tekken 7 blamed Denvo's DRM for performance problems in the PC version of the game. For example, a rare case where a game developer rather than merely a player knocked Denvo. So I, this is what I was talking about at the beginning where I said this research led me to uh, Tekken 7 indirectly, right? I was just trying to figure out what it was, but it still led me back to Tekken 7. And I guess this is a big deal, right? Because the players, the gamers, we complain about everything. We complain about literally everything. But for a developer, a lead dire uh, director to knock Denvo, that really is saying a lot about what it does to the gameplay, right? And this is where I clicked the link. You see where it says blame Devo DR. I clicked that link and it took me to another news article. Now, this news article is uh, a little bit older, but this one is where I ran across the tweets from Harada. So it says Tekken 7 director said Denvo DRM is causing performance issues in the game. Skip all the, you know, writing and explanations and all that stuff these articles do. I went right down to the tweets to see what it is that Harada was saying. What I want to do now is read these and sort of just figure out what, because that's the thing. These tweets are from 2018. Yeah, all of these tweets are from 2018. So that's five years ago. Tekken 7 was in a very different state in uh, at that at that point in time. The way he feels about this, it kind of was like alluding to them eventually making this decision to remove that. Maybe they waited as long as they possibly could because they wanted sales to keep going up. Who knows? But uh, eventually pulled the plug on it, right? The tweet says, problem occurred in Tekken 7 for, for PC that the frame rate drops when hits such as Akuma's Hadouken. Since it's not a problem of graphics and CPU processing, it will not solve even if changing PC settings. Problem with encryption program will fix it soon. Sorry, please wait. 
So I guess this is in response to, I guess the community was detecting some frame rate issues when Akuma was firing his Hadouken Blast. And this may have been at the height of Akuma's power in Tekken 7 when Arson Ash and all those showed. I think this actually is 2018, 2019. That's when Pakistan was on the rise. So I think this is when everyone started to realize some frame rate issues with Akuma. The next one says, what does the encryption program do, right? If the encryption program is messing up Akuma's frame rate, and I'm guessing it had to be messing up other characters we may not know known at the time, uh, people are saying, what does it do? He says, anti-tamper third-party middleware. It's live updating programs, and I heard it's fixed soon from now. We'll check it and update. So. This is kind of interesting. It looks like Harada was maybe in contact with Denvo and asking them, when are you guys going to fix this? Because everyone's get, everyone's upset at him saying, why is the game like this? But he can't fix it. It's third party software. So he was going to them saying, hey, can you guys fix this? When will it be able to be updated? And who knows, this was in 2018. Maybe they never did it. And they finally just decided we have to pull the plug. It's, it's ruining our experience too much. The next tweet that I want to read, this one is a little bit more. It says, little message to Mr. Harada. I don't know why I think that's so funny. Little message to Mr. Harada, but let's go on. Whoever thinks DMR helping increase sales is unaware of what's even going on in this industry. Pirates don't care. They can wait three years until something is cracked and Tekken 7 was cracked in four days. Removing Denvo would do a world of good. This is the thing. I remember way back when, when Grand Theft Auto 5 first came out. The month leading up to that, the Rockstar developers were just saying how like, yeah, our game is protection proof. You can't crack this. They were just like bragging. They were almost like, really they were like challenging the hacking community to try and break their game they were literally for a whole month before the release saying how their game is unbreakable but then when grand theft auto 5 came out like the the very same day they broke it they cracked it they were able to do whatever they want with it and that just goes to show if grand theft auto who was so proud of their anti-cheat software got hacked in one day what do you think is going to happen to Tekken 7 or Guilty Gear Strive, Mortal Kombat? These hackers, they are very determined to accomplish their goal. Like they said, if hackers are if hackers need to wait three years in order to accomplish something, they will. And this tweet is kind of funny. He say three years. That's kind of where we're at right now. Three years later, after this discussion and hackers have complete control over Tekken 7, complete control total stranglehold over the game. It really is fascinating taking a look back at these things. But Harada says, yep, but game is keep updating and also anti-tamper program is keep updating. Crack old version doesn't make much sense about the same as you say, anti-tamper is meaningless. Anyway, I don't care, pirate slash copy, it's just for others companies rights. So I'm not too sure what he's what he means by that. Um, one thing I have noticed, this is kind of off topic, but one thing I've noticed covering Harada's tweets and things that he says, his English has gotten way better. The farther I go back and the farther back I look, it's a little bit harder to understand. But now his comments and his tweets and stuff is like perfect. So that's something I just noticed about Harada and his growth as a um, English speaker, I would say. That's kind of off topic, but that's just something I noticed. But back on topic, it looked like this tweet he's saying that maybe he doesn't, maybe, who knows, maybe they had to keep Denvo for a certain amount of time. Maybe there's some sort of contracts or, you know, agreements that was made for them to use Denvo for this amount of years. And maybe that time is up, so they pulled it. Who knows? At the end of the day, I'm just happy that they did it. Anything that they do to better the experience, I am all for. Um, I think it's good that they are trying to fix the netcode, even though they have mess ups, even though sometimes they break it worse 
I think it's important that we realize that they have not given up. They have not just said, okay, Tekken 7 is broken, you know, screw it. They, they are still trying to fix the game and we have to commend them for that. A lot of other games don't do that. A lot of other game developers don't do that. They, they, if they release a game and it's broken, they will just say, screw it. So we do have to be uh, grateful for that, at least that they are trying to fix it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all this demo stuff is. This is pretty much the whole thing summarized in one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.